Welcome. Today we will be discussing the setup for the Sonora Sonic Orbiter and the SLTM Mini Server. You can find information on these two products on the Sonora website at sonora.us. Proceed to the mysqueezebox.com website where from here you will be able to download the Logitech Media Server application. The download link is on the left hand side here. You'll notice a pre-selection for Mac OS X because I'm running on a Mac computer. Click on the download link and install the software as you would with any other. Once installed, proceed to the system's preference icon. From the system's preference menu, you'll notice the Logitech Media Server icon. The Logitech Media Server menu allows you to do several functions. First, we can start the server from this tab and we can select automatically start server when system boots from this tab. You'll notice that the server is now running. You can proceed to the library tab and select the folders where your content is at. You can select several folders in case your content is spread out on your network. Finally, you can click on the advanced tab where you can find a button to the web controller, web remote controller. That button opens up the Logitech Media Server application on Safari. From here, you can select music for playback, add it to the playlist, get cover art information, adjust the volume, and things related to playback. You'll notice at the top right hand corner the word squeeze light. Squeeze light is the output located in the main room where the Sonora Sonic Orbiter or the SOTM mini server is located. This tells you that the system is ready and waiting for your signals. Thank you.